Hi everybody. So as promised, I'm going to show you how to do some of the stitching on the applique shapes and on the background of the um, summer block for the Seasons of the Heart block of the month. So I just cut out the shapes that I needed for the heart and everything else I still have um, stuck to the wool and I just put it in the little bag to keep track of it. So the first thing I'm going to show you is the whip stitch. So this is what she suggests you do in the pattern. And basically the whip stitch, you just come up and then straight down. And then come up and straight down. Okay, so you can see that. You can just see they're like little perpendicular stitches. So like I uh, mentioned in the previous video, I prefer doing a blanket stitch. So it looks the same as this. You've got the two lines that um, are coming like perpendicular to the edge of the design, but you've also got a little uh, piece of, of the embroidery floss that goes along the side of the piece. So one thing I didn't mention, I'm using three strands of embroidery floss to do mine. Nellie likes to use pearl cotton size 12. You can also use pearl cotton size eight if you want it to look a little heavier. That's about the same, um, same width or heaviness as the three strands of embroidery floss. And I'm using a chenille needle. I think this is a, a 22 or 24, this is 24. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to do the blanket stitch. And I'm just gonna cheat a little bit. I'm gonna put a little stitch down here to make it look like a blanket stitch. Now, when you're doing a blanket stitch, you come up on the background. Can you see that? And then you come, pull it all the way tight come down on your embroidery piece and then up on the background. Okay, so basically you're scooping underneath the embroidery piece, but you're catching the background as well. And then you want your floss to lay behind the needle so that when you pull it out, it holds it in a little L shape. Okay, so then you go to the next in on the embroidery up on the background, making sure your floss is behind, and then pull. Now, this is the direction I work in. Nelly somehow works backwards. So if, you do, if you're a left-handed person, you're gonna probably work a different direction. Um, we have left-handed stitchery books on our website. We've got lots of um, other embroidery books that show you how to do all the embroidery stitches. Um, but if you're just doing the basic ones, like the blanket stitch and the back stitch and all of that, um, they're pretty simple. So one thing I want to mention, when you're going around the curve, you want to come down and you want to just um, kind of tack that little stitch down so it doesn't lift up like that when you go around the curve. So you're just going to go in on the background and up in the inside of that little L shape and pull and now it's tacked down and it's not going to go anywhere okay so now you're going to go i'm going to see if i can hold my hands differently so you can see this better um nope that doesn't work here we go okay so now you're going to go down on the on the um embroidery or the applique up on the background and pull you see what I'm doing? It's kind of hard for me to be in the right position with this camera. Okay, so you're just gonna go all the way around so that you tack down the edge of the wool. As you can see, the wool stuck down really well there. I used the, oh, the soft fuse and it worked quite well to do that. Okay, so I'm just going to keep stitching around to tack down the, the whole shape of the bird. I'm going to go around the wing. I'm going to go around the uh, cherry and around his beak. And I'm going to use the blanket stitch for all of those. So I'll just show you a couple more. 
see how I use my thumb to hold that floss to the back so that my needle comes up in front of it okay and when you get to a spot where you're going underneath you can just go in and if it's not too far you can just travel or you can knot it off on the back so you always want to start with a knot i didn't tell you that but you always want to knot the end of your floss or your pro cotton whatever you're using before you start stitching and then i'm going to come up back here and do another stitch and when you get to the end of your floss you don't have any more floss left or you only have a little bit you just um, go through make your last stitch go through to the back like you're doing a tacking stitch but then just pull it through and then knot it off at the back okay so that is the blanket stitch